ia o vai remolele que o que ica rico ica nani que i hi me kahano hano que o mai ca i que ho sana que mili lani a ho que nem mapu ia o no leila que vai ia o co mai This project has been in the works approximately six and a half years. Um, there was, there was, it was a twinkling in the eye for some of the faculty, but then when we found out that the one-stop center was going to be built, we had access to this facility which we could renovate, and then every year as things got approved, we would work on one bite at a time. I think for one thing there's a safety issue involved. And in this kitchen, I'll be able to observe all the students all the time. The students will also have a video equipment installed here, and the students will be able to observe directly from their stations what I'm doing on my station. So we'll have a lot of intensive interaction. Um, it's also a sanitary facility because we have holders for the books. Each student has his own refrigeration unit. Each group of students will have their own refrigeration unit, their own burner unit, their own ovens. So it presents a more realistic kitchen. It shows them what they'll actually be looking at in the work environment. The laboratory setting that they were in previously, you know, they were in a, in a room that was, you know, not basically set up for their particular class, the fundamentals cooking. And um, in that sense, you know, it, it was a crowded, uh, you know, with a maximum amount of students in such a small space. And, you know, they were limited in their movement and, and not allowed to really just have that that comfortable feeling. We only had one one stove to work off each, so we'd always have to wait, but now everybody has a chance to be on the stove by themselves. There's some challenges here and there, you know, because it's, I've never been in a kitchen before, and this is a great opportunity for me. I've learned so much. Um, I didn't even know how to hold a knife until this class, so now that was, that was interesting to know how to do. All the different recipes, different sauces we have to make and all that. And this facility is going to allow us to serve our students and our community even better and for very many, many years. We are starting a new uh, program. It's in, the, it's in the beta process now. It's called Live Text, and it's a student-centered learning project that can be used as an assessment tool as well. So everything is finally coming together. And I just want to thank everybody, Helen, Gary, the, all the facilities people, all the faculty that made this possible, all the fundraising, Chef Mark with the gala that we've done, it just made this all possible. And I truly want to thank everybody. I'm truly grateful and truly happy to have this new facility. Mahalo.